There are tons of cool Nintendo Switch accessories you can buy these days, and today I will show you another replacement housing shell made by Mirian. Mirian made a good product and we will prove it one more time. So let's get started. So this is Mirian replacement housing shell for the Nintendo Switch. It is available in several colors but in this video, you only see the ice blue or teal color. I'm a little bit surprised why Mirian uses a soft transparent plastic for its packaging that makes this product look cheap. But anyway, let's open the box and see what we got. This is the back cover or we can call it the back plate. And this is the right joycon and the left joycon shell. Each joycon shell comes in three parts which are the top cover, the back cover, and the battery compartment. And then you have the four colors ABXY and directional buttons and some screws. Now let's start disassembling the console beginning from the main unit. You need a small tri-wing and Phillips screwdriver to get the job done. Now flip the console and get your tri-wing screwdriver to remove these four screws. Those screws are a little bit soft so you must turn the screwdriver gently to avoid stripping the screw heads. Now get your Phillips screwdriver and we will remove the rest of the screws. Now get to the side of the console and you can see 5 screws on the Joy-Con rail. Remove the middle screw and leave the rest intact. Now do the same thing to the opposite side of the console. Now remove 2 screws near the USB port and 1 screw near the top air fan. Those are tiny screws so be very careful not to lose it. Now remove the micro SD card if any. Now remove the final screw that lies under the console stand. Now lift the back cover slowly and remove it. Then you need to remove these screws to take the stand holder and the memory card cover because Mirian doesn't include these components into the product. Now get the replacement back cover and begin installing the memory card cover and the stand holder. Now you can install the replacement back cover to the console. Check its edges and make sure it snaps and fits perfectly. Then you can begin installing the screws. Now we have finished installing the replacement back cover to the console. Now it's time to disassemble the Joy-Cons. You will need a tweezer and a plastic opener tool. Be very careful while dismantling and installing the shell because you have to deal with small components such as flex ribbon cables, sockets, and wires. And the most important thing is, do not break anything. Let's start with the left Joy-Con. Get your driving screwdriver and remove these four screws. Separate the seal slowly because there are two flex ribbon cables that runs between two electronic boards. Then use a Phillips screwdriver to remove this screw. Then remove the joy contract from the shell and remove the release button below it. Then use a tweezer to remove the vibration motor cable and the battery cable from the socket by pulling the wires gently. 
Now you can take out the vibration motor by pulling it. Then use a plastic opener tool to take out the battery from the compartment. And then remove these screws. Remember the screw color and its position because there are two types of screw length. Then lift the battery compartment slowly because there is a tiny flex ribbon cable installed into a socket below it. Use a tweezer to lift the socket and remove the flex ribbon cable from the circuit board. Now take the battery compartment. We will remove the ZL button from the plastic frame. Cover the button with your fingers and use a plastic opener tool to pry the button very carefully. And please be aware of the two tiny springs below it, I am sure you don't want to lose them. Now remove those springs. And use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the tiny button board from the shell. Then take the replacement shell and begin reinstalling the removed components. Start by installing the tiny button board and screw it down. Then place the two tiny springs and install the ZL button by pushing it downward until it clicks. Then test the button, make sure it is working fine. Now back to the circuit board. Use a tweezer to remove the remaining flex ribbon cables. Then remove the analog stick. Then remove the circuit board from the shell. Then unscrew these three screws and remove the tiny circuit board. Then remove the L button by lifting it slowly. Be aware of the tiny spring that is attached on the button. And then remove the rubber conductors and buttons. Then use a tweezer to remove the analog stick sticker. Then get the replacement shell and begin installing the parts together beginning with the analog stick sticker. Then place the minus button and install the rubber conductor. Then install the tiny button board and screw it down. And then install the buttons along with its rubber conductors. Then take the circuit board and place it down. Then install the silver screws. Then install the analog stick and screw it down. Then install the flex ribbon cables. Now install the L button, followed by installing the ZL button flex ribbon cable from the battery compartment. Flip the battery compartment and install the remaining screws. Now place the vibration motor and plug it into the socket. Then install the battery. Then take the back cover and install the Joy-Con release button. Then place the Joy-Con rail and install the screw. Now flip the back cover and screw it down. Then 
Now you have finished installing the replacement cover for the left Joy-Con. One Joy-Con left to go. Now we will disassemble the right Joy-Con. The right Joy-Con is a little bit harder to dismantle and it is trickier to assemble than the left Joy-Con because there are additional components inside it. So get your throwing screwdriver and remove these four screws. Then separate the shell slowly as there are two flex ribbon cables running between two circuit boards inside it. Then remove this screw to take out the Joy-Con rail from the shell. Then remove the vibration motor by unplugging the cable from its socket. Then again use a tweezer to unplug the battery connector from its socket. Then use a plastic opener tool to pry the battery out from the compartment. Now remove these three screws. Remove the Bluetooth antenna from its socket. Then flip the battery compartment very carefully because there is a small flex ribbon cable attached into a circuit board below it. Use a tweezer to unplug the flex ribbon cable from the socket. Now we need to remove the ZR button. Do the same method as before that is covering the button with your finger and use a plastic opener tool to pry the button out of the shell. Now remove both springs and remove the tiny button board using a Phillips screwdriver. Now take the replacement shell and do the same thing as we did previously. Install the tiny button board, place the springs and reinstall the ZR button. Then test the button. Make sure you can feel the button clicks normally. Now remove the R button from the Joy-Con. Now remove the analog stick flex ribbon cable from the socket. Remove the screws and then take out the analog stick from the Joy-Con. Then remove these screws. Then lift the circuit board slowly as there are two flex ribbon cables attached to some components below it. Actually, you can unlatch the flex ribbon connector before lifting the circuit board, but I prefer to leave it like that. Now remove the rubber conductors and buttons. Now remove the sticker. Now take the replacement shell and place the sticker. Then install the buttons and the rubber conductors. Now take the circuit board and install it carefully into the shell. Make some adjustments so it fits perfectly. Test the buttons. Make sure you can press it normally. If everything is okay, then you can install the screws. Then install the analog stick. Then take the battery compartment and install the tiny flex ribbon cable. Then install the R button. And flip the battery compartment very carefully. You don't want to break that tiny flex ribbon cable. Then you can reinstall the screws.
Now install the Bluetooth antenna. Then install the battery. Next install the vibration motor. Take the back cover and install the release button. Then place the Joy-Con rail into the back cover and screw it down. Flip the back cover and install the remaining screws. Finally, you have finished installing the replacement shell for the console. So what do you guys think about this replacement shell? For me, I think it looks cool and Miriam has proved that their product is good. So we have come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching this lengthy guide. Please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later. Goodbye.